I'm Don Martin, I'm the student pastor at Image Church. Uh, we have a student ministry called Impact. And Impact, we did a series uh, for the month of September called The Gospel, what it is, how it changes us. Uh, this video is part of sharing their story. You're gonna hear accounts from students and, and from leaders about how the gospel has changed their lives, how they've been able to have been a part of something that, that revolutionizes people uh, and what that means to them. This means a lot to us as, as a ministry as a church uh, and we want you to support us and be a part of that uh, and reach as many students as we possibly can with the gospel of Jesus Christ. First time I really heard about Jesus was I remember when I was really little I had this like little children's picture like Bible and I read that a lot. The first time someone really told me about Jesus and I, you know, I could comprehend it was I was at um, a camping trip for my school and Sydney Johnson also went on it mm -hmm. and she got together a Bible study and, and we just, you know, we all stayed in like that room and we just talked about God and she like really laid down the word, word and that was the first time I really thought, wow, you know, this is real. I was actually in the car with Kaylin and Courtney and I was curious on why um, Jesus was really forgiving um, if people were like, like even if they were like the worst person and they still went to heaven because they accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And I wasn't quite sure about that. They told me that he's very forgiving and that he'll forgive you. When I was eight, I f officially accepted Christ, but I mean, it was still young to me. And so it, w it was really about 15 or 16 when I really hit it, because I went to this uh, camp called River Valley Ranch. And, uh, you know, I worked and it was like a whole month of working and, you know, getting to know God more. And it was a lot of fun. My two years ago at camp, we, there was a speaker there, I forgot his name, but he was talking about like how much hell was real and it like made my stomach drop a little bit because I didn't realize like that it's a real thing and you know, you can actually go there and that all like this proof that he was telling us was true and it just clicked. We were coming to Image for a couple months and slowly it kind of um, seeped in that God is real. It's not just something that you come to every Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's not just something that you say you believe in. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the way to happiness. Jesus has helped me through challenges when a couple of my family members and pets have died and he just filled that gap. I'd like love, I guess. Well, I actually have a recurring speech impediment. I mean, it's it's been gone for a while. It's it's recently started to come back, actually, a little bit. But I try to hide it pretty well. But I think God actually helped me through it pretty bad because I could barely get sentences out sometimes. But slowly, it just kind of got better. And I think I've got things. I was about sixth grade when my youth pastor at the time uh, said was really uh, pushing sharing the gospel and sharing my story with other people. It got really hard. It really weighed on me how I never really shared my story and how I, I needed to do it, but I didn't really know how to do it at the time. I don't know about wanting to give up, but I just know a lot of friends don't really believe in God or Jesus or anything like that. And it's just kind of hard trying to talk to them about stuff like that because mm -hmm. they just don't want to hear it at all. He's given me hope when no one else has any and he's blessed me with so many, um, like such a good family and friends. No matter what I'm going through, I know that there's someone who still cares about me, who still loves me, and who, who will see me, you know, through 
the strong, the bad, the good, the ugly, you know. What you've just seen are our testimonies, our witness accounts uh, of how the gospel has impacted other people's lives. Now, with this tool in your hands, uh, I want to encourage you, go and share this with as many people as you possibly can. Get this in their hands. Let these students' lives uh, impact them, it revolutionize them. It let them know that there's hope uh, for them, for their families, for their friends. And listen, we love you enough uh, to share this with you, and we hope that you love others enough to share this with them, uh, to really get them involved, to share Jesus with them, the hope of the world, the light of the world, uh, and so that way they can join you in the mission that he has for us.